Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to explain how to program your heat pump correctly and, above all, how to optimize your energy savings with the right remote control settings. How do I get the most out of my air-to-water heat pump system? What programming is required? What are the actions to avoid that will result in energy savings? So the first thing to do in the first instance is the set temperature. That's the basis. In order to avoid having super high energy consumption, do not to turn up the heat at heating temperatures that would be extreme, such as 26, 27, 28, 30 degrees Celsius. In the end, a good ambient temperature should be around 19 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius at the most is more than enough. What's also needed is programming. Programming implies weekly programs to optimize energy savings. So now I'm going into programming. I'll be able to see it. So I'm going to take a look at the various programming options. And in programming and modification, this is where I'm going to do my weekly programming. So for example, I explained to an end customer, the individual, at the time of commissioning, how to program his weekly schedule. So, he made a weekly program. So here, I turn on my heating at 6 a.m. So he doesn't need to heat up too much, so it will switch on the heating. On, heating at 16 degrees Celsius, just to keep the house frost-free. So the energy use will gradually rise. And then, it will be able to go up to 19 degrees in set point temperature, which is more than adequate. And so, in on mode 2, he decided to switch to off at 9 p.m. But in the end, in weekly programming, it is ideal to start from on on, i.e. weekly programming. Let's say we start at 6 a.m., at 16 degrees Celsius. Then, in the middle of the afternoon, I'll raise it to 19 degrees from 3 p.m. And then, in the evening, I bring it down to 17 degrees. And so I won't necessarily have consumption peaks, I'm going to have progressive regulation. So we avoid consumption peaks. And especially the house, the temperature rises gradually. So, if you're doing on-off, well, that's when the end customer thinks about saving energy by making on. I switch my heating on and off. I turn it off. No, not at all. It's more about not turning off the heat, but starting with progressive regulations with reduced temperatures. In this case, yes, we're going to save money.